Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex Bennett and this is The Ramble. And we go until midnight tonight on the East Coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, from Lost Wages, Nevada, the only place that you can make money out of by walking into the propeller of the plane when you get off of the defective part Thank you. Welcome to Armenian Bandstand. Bandstand, my friend. 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 Fabian. Can you do that for about the next 15 minutes and I won't yeah, have to start. interview you and yeah, come up with band spiffy band things? Start. I, you said that your power went out. Oh, it went out 2.30 last night. Zing, just out of nowhere, everything, okay. everything. You, ah. want, you want my litany of what went on? Yeah, it's a communist system. I wake on. up in the morning just to go take a pee because I, you know, I have the prostate thing and I pee about once a night. And uh, Marjorie's up and uh, she says to me, I can't get the TV set, it's broken in the living room. Uh oh, that's how I wake up. Okay, ah, to that. The day's starting. Oh, that's the sunrise. Yeah, yeah. A great sunrise. Yeah. So uh, I went and unplugged it and replugged it in, and it worked. Okay, All it right. Worked. That's Pretty for good. starters. Then I find out the server I've got up in uh, Canada that carries all my video and stuff like that. Yeah. Can't connect to it. Great. Great. So I had to call them. Okay. Uh, then, uh, let's see what else happened. Then uh, it, it started getting even worse because I suddenly noticed that my phone isn't working. Oh, my, man. My, my mobile phone. It's not connecting to my Wi-Fi, and it's not connecting to an outside cellular source. Uh, I can't figure that one out. I'm now now in this day and age to call anybody like a tech support is impossible oh you had good luck to you if you have to do that hello my name is skippy my friend. well forget about skippy you can also get bob and he's at home okay oh, my but uh, what you've got now excuse me for my eye folks but it's not <laughs> everything again oh it's allergies and candy man eh, 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 anyway the trouble with uh, with getting any kind of service out of tech support is that they all use the same excuse. Well, you know, it's the COVID. I call it I I call it the new COVID excuse. Anything that can go wrong, you go. Why did that happen? And they go, Oh, it's the COVID. Oh no, I've, I've had it's an outage. That's the one I hear. It's an outage. Yeah. I had, I couldn't get like uh, two channels. I couldn't get sound on like last week. Just no sound. I'd well, through. we've been so. Outage. That's not an outage. If it's an outage, everything goes out. Yeah. Every, well, everybody's been saying how wonderful things are and that uh, nothing is going wrong. They're keeping everything together just by people doing stuff from home. Uh, and then yeah. I find out that everything is fucking up. Everything. everything. Oh, boy. So, so, so then my server in the, the United States, GoDaddy, suddenly will Ooh. not accept my, my signal, you know, my yeah. trying to upload stuff. I mean, it was one thing after another technologically breaking down. Jeez. Okay. And then I just didn't go on. I didn't do a show last night. I just, I was so exhausted that yeah. I couldn't do it. And I still had, I hadn't solved any of these problems. Uh, and uh, then I look, and it's like I'm trying. I'd like to get to bed at 11 because I, I'll take my phone over to to the uh, to the AT&T store, where of course they'll say, "Well, we can't fix it because you know we got the COVID going on." Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> One and, thing after another. 
Friday the 13th. Again. And that's why I told you, hey, I, can you make it 3 o'clock? I didn't know how long I would be there and so on. Um, and I just, you know, I was uh, crazed with all of that. And I f forgot to tell our uh, midnight show here that I wasn't doing a show last night. Uh, and oh. he isn't very tech savvy, so he just waits for me to drop the signal. But the signal uh, was coming from our playlist here. <laughs> yeah. he, he listened to me, he knew I wasn't on, but he didn't think he had to do anything on his end. So 20 minutes in, I'm, I email him and say, hey, you know, so there's another problem, okay? Yeah. All right, so now um, uh, I go on, to my, as I say, my GoDaddy isn't working. I'm I'm dealing with them. It's now it's almost three thirty in the morning. Jesus. And and the only good news I got was that Canada wrote me and said we've solved your problem. Oh okay. So I decide, fuck it. I gotta go to sleep. I take yeah. two Xanax, which are still in me. So if I'm a little loopy. <laughs> in fact, I left my coffee in the other room. I'll go get oh, it. You fool during our break. But anyway, I, uh, uh, I, I went to, finally I took two Xanax and whatever, and I guess I got to sleep at four in the morning. Uh -huh. Only to wake up at 9.30 uh -huh. and go over to my phone and it's working. Oh, uh, there you go. Well, wasn't, wasn't that fun? Still can't figure, I suspect yes. what it was, but I can't, I don't know for sure. Yeah. Oh, I would have given up at the beginning. Uh, so I, I have what's called the VPN on the phone and somehow the VPN for this company, I think was down last night. Didn't uh, even think about that, you know. I, and I just got to the point where I'm going, I'm getting rid of all my technology. I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Uh, and on top of that, a couple of days ago, I went to the dentist, and it was horrible. It was a horrible experience. Uh -huh. okay. Chipped my front tooth. Oh, my God. You can't see it, but it's chipped. Nice. I can no. feel it. And uh, it, the most painful time I ever spent in a, in a chair. And I got to go back tomorrow for part two of the root canal. Part two. And I've had, I've had root canals up the ass. In fact, they found a couple of teeth up there, and they did a root canal yeah. on them. Sure. And, uh, you know, no problem, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It, it, the worst thing is it's boring and you got to keep your mouth open for 45 yeah. minutes while this guy is doing all. But nothing that hurts, right? Uh, she was it. painful. Took her five shots of Novocaine to really? numb me. Yeah. So that and this and all of it, and I'm going, you know, I've always feared death, but it's getting to look a little good. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe this is God's way of making it easy. You know, as you go on, bad. it's the pain, the pain on the way. Yeah, because um, they say only the good die young, so I guess that's why uh, I'm so old. Yeah. You a couple of so bats. your your electricity went out. We My had that electricity went out at two thirty. It came out within a half hour, thank God. But I was just running around. Oh, is it the fuse? What is it? Yeah. I went outside. Everybody's lights were out. Fuck. You know what? Do you know my friend Shecky? Have I ever mentioned my friend Shecky I don't, to I've you? Never he, met a person he, actually named Shecky. He worked for a Letterman. Uh huh. Uh, Rick oh, Shecky. Rick Segment. I know Rick Segment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We call him Shecky. Yeah. Letter, yeah. Letterman named him Shecky. Okay. Shecky. Yeah. Because everybody's got to know Shecky. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, his electricity went out five days. Oh. Five days out in Queens. Wow. Wow, I had no air conditioning for eight days. That sucked. Well, that sucked. I remember you were sweating like oh, crazy. That was horrible. Yeah. Came back on. Eight days later, I was but you got rid of that pimple on the side of your face. I know. Oh, I saw it cleared up. See, like a baby's bottom now. Yeah, when you had a piece of paper on for two oh, weeks. Oh, yeah, I still have it. It's going to go into the Smithsonian. It, It'll be somewhere between the spirit of St. Louis and Dillinger Schmeckel. Yeah. Yeah. All the kids to see. So, and I'm also going into the hospital next month to have my AFib fixed, hopefully. What? So, you have AFib? Yeah, I've had AFib for a while. It sucks. So uh, uh, they're going to go through my little winky and go and spot weld a piece of my heart. And they said my heart was very strong, but if I had that done, I wouldn't have AFib anymore. So oh, okay. Overnight. So. so they can fix the AFib? Oh, yeah. They, they said I did. Rarely comes back. Hardly ever. And, uh, you know. 
I'm yeah. I think, I think I'm gonna be, they're gonna put me out before they put something up my weenie, so I won't panic and scream or anything. Oh, no, they 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 don't worry. They you know most. Lock me up. Give me those Keith Richards drugs, you, Daddy. I you want you know what? Out. When I had my uh, the seeds put in my prostate, uh-huh. which by now I've got several tulips growing down there. It's really oh, nice. But what anyway, uh, no tulips would be bulbs. He didn't put in bulbs. Yeah, no, he bulbs, put in bulbs. seeds. Bulbs. Anyway, seeds, kids. If you know ten people, when they did that. They didn't put me out. They said, we, we can't put you out. I said, why? They said, because of your age. Wow. I said, really? I mean, suppose I was having heart surgery. He said, well, then we'd have to. But if we don't have to, we don't have to. We can't, wow. put, we can't put you out. And I went, well, what's the, what are we doing here? He says, oh, we're doing a spinal. Uh-huh. Now, spinal. I had never had a spinal, and I, I didn't know what it was. And the guy goes to my back, and he did, few little like injection things and I'm figuring well this isn't too bad and they lie me down and then he says I'm going to just give you some intravenous Valium uh, to make your life uh, better you know <laughs> oh, oh here's my uh, my watch is going off hold on a second um, to make your life better and what it was is it was kind of like being put out uh-huh. except I was awake uh-huh and he's doing all this stuff, putting the seeds in and everything. Oh huh? But what I got to hear is what you don't normally hear when they put you out, is what they talk about while you're out. Uh-huh. And it's things like, so what are you doing on Saturday? Well, I'm thinking of going blah, blah, blah. You know? Oh, yeah. And I'm going, this is a real treat. I'm getting a show here. <laughs> I'm getting to hear all the things they say. And afterwards, I said to one of them, I said to the anesthesiologist, I said, I heard everything that was going on. I heard what you guys talk about. He said, not very interesting, is it? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think I heard something anti-Semitic there. Yeah, right? yeah. And the guy's in there, my, in my, where did he go? In? Oh, they go in through your perineum. You know, it, you know, okay, folks, what's a perineum? Anybody know? For a hundred dollars, two needles. I don't know. Hey, but I gotta two, tell you, two needles. Two needles. Exactly. Needles. No, it's what you and I used to refer to as the taint. The teat. Taint. The taint. Taint cock. Taint ass. It's that oh, part okay. in between. So oh, the tweener. Okay. And then they go in there, and that's how they put in the seeds. How about that? And, oh, I see a cat in back of you. Oh, which who's back? Of you? Who's in back? Of you? Oh, that's Siam. Yeah, that's a Siamese. That's a it's a it's I mean, he's the boss right there. It's it's not really a Siamese though, is it? It's kind of half Siamese. He's like, he's like silvery. I don't know. We found him when he was a baby. He's so white then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he got the, his brother is right there. You can't see him. And, oh, this is reminding me to wake up for your show. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. All right. But I'm up already. So the it, joke's not all of us. So anyway, I told uh, I, I told you, uh, wrote you last night that I couldn't do it till three o'clock today because I figured I had to go down to the store, and then I couldn't get to sleep. So finally, I wrote you and said, "Can we do it Friday?" And then I wrote I you, and I woke up this morning, and it was all working. Going, you still want to do it? Yeah, sure. I'm off with the what, Well, I figure no. what you know. Come on. Yeah. You, you know, this is COVID. You're not going time. anywhere. You know, I, gotta, I go to the store, I come back. I go to the reefer store, I come back. What do you want? Yeah, you don't have any uh, any uh, gigs to go to. Yeah, nothing. I'm taking in a roommate because I can't afford this place anymore. Really? You had some gigs for a while. Had lots, you know, enough. I had yeah. enough gigs, and then nobody's got gigs now, and I can't afford this place anymore, and I want to keep it. Yeah. So I'm taking in a roommate next month. Very nice. Family. So what's happening to all the other people who are out of work? That's right? a good question. I don't know. I know guys who are like making a living working cruise ships, and none of the ships are sailing anymore. So oh, no, no, the cruise ships you can't do. You can't do the cruise ships. You can't. Uh, you can't, can't do the club. You can't perform on water. You can only perform on the sun. I don't know. Somebody's got to. Cool, somebody's got to reinvent comedy shows. I mean, they got Zoom shows, which are stupid because you get, really don't have an, a direct audience in front of you. And then they got those driving shows. I done. I did one of those, which was okay. But I, I need chairs and tables and an audience. You know. Well, you know, they could do it outdoors. They could, you know. They've been doing it outdoors, but some places can't do it now. So I'm, they got nothing here. So uh, wow. you know, I think it, like Lenny Clark is doing some shows in Boston. So uh, not every place is shut down, but we're shut down uh, here. Lenny Nobody's Cl- working here. Lenny Clark, one of my favorite people of all time. Uh, and remind me the name Lenny Clark n- the next time we talk to you. 
Okay, one of the kings of Boston. Come got on. one of the greatest stories of all time. Oh, I know which one. You, you know which one I'm talking about? Uh, okay. First you take the liver and then the hollandaise sauce. And the you want to let Will, Will, don't, don't spoil oh, it for everybody. But uh, uh, we're kind of running out of time here. Oh, great TikTok. 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 Yeah, well, TikTok. We'll put him out of business, says Trump. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, good talking to you again, Stephen. Good talking to you again, man. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Stephen Pearl, and he's playing absolutely nowhere. Nowhere ever. Sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Bop. Okay, I, 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 that music doesn't have a bop on the end of it. Wait a minute, let me try that again. Here. Now in our sixth yeah. year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Dunk. It, there's one more note. There should be one more note there. Well, I guess there isn't. So, Hello, everybody. How are you? My life sucks, okay? That's all I got to say. It, it, it sucks, and uh, uh, I, I got to show you something. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me, let me go over here. So I got sag after, uh supplemental health insurance, you know, Medicare takes care of a certain part of it, and then uh, uh, sag after takes care of the rest, um, and uh, with certain exceptions. I mean, they don't pay everything, but the, and the, the, the drug uh, thing is terrific. We get great drug prices, and uh, it's really good. It's a great plan, and we were lucky to have it. Well, I say lucky to have it because they sent out a thing today saying, oh, we're changing our plan. Here's a simple little pamphlet that will show you how we're changing it. Look at this. Look at this. Right? And none of it makes any sense. Just all kinds of things, combining Plan 2 and Plan 1, and how you can get COBRA if you need it, and changes for retirees taking a SAG or after pension. Understand the plan eligibility rules. Uh, if you'll move to the new SAG after health plan via benefits program, shop and enroll in coverages that are best fit for you. If you maintain active SAG after health plan eligibility, know the premium, your premium costs and cost sharing between you and the plan. Confirm whether your spouse has access to employer sponsored health coverage. Mine doesn't. Contact via benefits. Uh, contact by, by, via benefits if you need help or have questions. Would you have questions for this much? And I think we're going to get screwed. I think I'm going to wind up not having health insurance at the rate this is going. All of a sudden, my union sucks. God bless it. Well, let me go put this over here for Marjorie to read in the morning, and she can try and figure it out because none of it makes any sense to me. But all I know is that I'm probably going to left, be left to go out and die, okay? Because, uh, you know, we need universal health care where I don't have to worry about this and you don't have to worry about it either, okay? All right? Okay. That's it, plain and simple. Well, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm, let me see here. Are we still on? Are we, yeah, we're still on, aren't we? Let me see here. Yeah, okay. I just I touched something and it, uh, it, it stopped it. Okay, anyway. Uh, 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 let me see here. Let me uh, change a few things here. Okay, all right. Skip ads. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, and then uh, I wasn't on last night. I'll explain why in a little bit. It doesn't really matter. Life's, life sucks. But this thing with the medical, you know, at my age, you... you you know, medical is important for you. It saves your life. You know, uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't have paid the supplemental on, uh, on my uh, cancer thing that I had, you know, with the prostate, uh, if it weren't for this plan. And now this plan is changing, and the, the prescription medicine thing is changing, which we really loved. It was terrific. But 
we're going to have to go find alternate ways of handling this. It's just ridiculous. It's just horrible. Anyway, let's admit some of the people who are waiting in our uh, in our waiting room out there. Uh, and uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, gallery view. There we go. And we got. Uh, let's see here. See? Oh. Wait a minute, i got to take that uh, jackpot off, and we don't have a jackpot at this point. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 zoom panel, and I do away with the jackpot, and do that, and there we go. Okay, now we're ready to go. I always screw up that way. Oh, here comes Robert Natale. Here we go. Uh, so I guess it's time for me to die, uh, because my medical plan is, is probably indicating that you know so and that's the republican plan well this is also what what happens with uh, sag after i mean the fact is we should have we should have you know medicare for all okay period period and a hundred percent not this eighty percent that medicare pays um it's uh, it, it sucks and it's horrible and I, so I don't know what I'm going to do for me medical insurance. I mean, maybe, maybe it doesn't affect me as much as I think. Maybe there are just a few changes, but it doesn't look good. So Nobody likes change. No, it, I don't like change when it's fucking with my health, Phil. Yeah. You know, what makes you think with Medicare for all that you're going to be able to get everything you want. Yeah, well, no. I, I will be able to because I'm getting Medicare now and I'm getting most of what I want. Well, you know, Phil, I don't why wanna... do you have to be so contrary on stuff like this? I just asked you a fucking question. You know, I know you didn't ask me a fucking question. What you're saying is, is that uh, what do I expect out of, uh, out of Medicare? I've been getting Medicare. I like Medicare. It's done a good job for me. Well, you know, I want one of those G6 things that constantly tell you what your sugar is. You, you wear this little thing on your sensor on your stomach, and then you have a, uh, a, a device. And uh, every five minutes, it takes a sugar reading. Well, they said, well, Medicare won't pay for that because you're not on insulin. And I said, well, I don't want to get on insulin. That's why I want uh, one of these uh, Dexcoms. Mm -hmm. and. You know, so it, it's not the panacea well, I get it. you, you don't think like it. Medicare, so don't take it. Hey, it's it's what you got to take as soon as you turn sixty five. Hey, they, you don't got to take it. No, you don't got to take it. You can go out and buy your own insurance. Uh, you know, they don't leave. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh mm -hmm. no, no. I think I'll 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 take it anyway. Okay, and begrudgingly I'll take it. Yeah, well, it's it they it is cheaper. But uh, I'm finding out that there's a number of things that I don't get. Phil, there are a number of things that you don't get with normal insurance companies. I understand. So you're, you're under the impression, if you have Medicare for all, that everybody's going to get... What I'm saying is, is when you get sick, you go to the hospital, and when you leave, like in England, there's no bill. Uh, How does okay. that sound to you? Is, is yeah, that, but it, if you get into the hospital in the first place... Uh, you may not, you know, oh, well, you know, we don't cover no, that. That's, that's not true. Yeah. There's well, only elective stuff that you have trouble getting in the hospital. Anything that's life-threatening, they can get you in the hospital right fucking away. So they, I got, you know, they live I, longer than we live. They live three years longer than we live. They got no teeth. But, you know, I don't care. Phil, Phil, they have a serious discussion without throwing something like that in. Oh, he said that in England they don't, live longer. Don't start with me they tonight because I've live. had it. I've, I've, Google I've, it. I've had it with this whole show thing here. So just but, leave me alone, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know. What happened to you last night? I, was, I wasn't here. I noticed. You know. Well, I didn't notice because I wasn't going to be there either. Yeah, well... <laughs> And and that, that was every reason for me to be tomorrow? here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And no fill tomorrow. Well, good. Why? Oh, well, good. Uh, I have an online class that starts at 7.30. Oh, okay. uh, my time. Pilates. Pilates. No, 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 no. It's an AR-15 class. Uh-huh. You're getting ready. Yeah. Do shooting online. Armageddon. Yeah. yeah. Here, 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 shooting here, your house. Here, here's the here's the syllabus for the uh, for the for the uh, uh, teaching. Um, 
Put finger on trigger, pull. <laughs> pull. <laughs> squeeze. Yeah. It's just a squeeze. Not squeeze, a pull, surprise squeeze. break. Yeah. Squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On site, squeeze. <laughs> no, I mean, off, off the floor and repeat. Right. <laughs> Yesterday, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Okay. So, you know, I woke up in the morning and it was wrong. Okay. <laughs> Marjorie says to me, the TV set in the living room isn't working. I just woke up, you know, and now I'm fixing a television set. But that wasn't the first thing that broke yesterday. Everything in my life broke. And by the time I reached 4 o'clock in the morning, because I was online to, a, uh, uh, to one of my uh, suppliers for the servers and so on, uh, uh, I, I, you know, I just had it, you know, one thing after another, my, my phone went out on me, my cell phone completely would not work. Uh, I, I mean, get a signal of any sort. And it, this morning I woke up and it had fixed itself, but I had trouble with my Canadian server and then GoDaddy went bad and then my phone went bad and the TV set didn't work. And it was one thing after another, so by the time I was finished, I was just, I just said, why, why, why do I even have anything to do with technology? You know, I'm so sick of having to deal with technology and, and, and making it work and getting it to work. And um, hey, Alex, when that happens to me, I usually just take a nap. Well, it's hard to take a nap. It was hard for me to get to sleep last night. Once I got off the line with, uh, with GoDaddy, uh, was it GoDaddy that I was with at the, yeah, at 4 o'clock in the morning, something like that? Uh, uh, I just, I couldn't go to sleep because I was just, my brain was just whirling around and I took uh, uh, two, uh, two, two Xanaxes last night to try and make me go to sleep and I, that didn't put me to sleep. Oh. And then oh, if, oh, it is, if it isn't enough, I get a call, I... I I come in here, I was going to go to sleep at 11 because I figured I'd get up early, go down to AT&T and get this phone fixed, right? Uh, but I can't go to sleep. So I'm pocketing around. I come in here and I realize that, that Jack is supposed to be on. And I look and the, uh, the server here is still pumping out shows. And I'm going, what the hell happened to him? So I write, I send him an, a, a text and he calls me back and he goes, well, I heard you weren't doing a show tonight, so I was just waiting for the, uh, for the, thing, to, uh, uh, for the uh, uh, thing to switch over to my show. I said, what thing to switch over to your show? You know, I said, what happens is when I stop my show, it kills the, uh, the uh, feed and yours kicks in. But when I'm not here and you've done this before, you just go over there, turn off the encoder, and start your show. Oh, really? That was on top of everything else. Okay? So, I mean, it was just, it was one thing after another, and I just got to the point where I was saying, I don't need this. You know, I really don't need technology. I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, and I'm exhausted tonight. I'm absolutely exhausted. Don't start with me, Phil. Well, I'm glad you're here tonight. Yeah, well, I'm here. Yeah, it's us off the streets, Alex. Yeah, I'm here, with, but perhaps without medical insurance now. Well, we got to figure that one out next. Luckily, my my wife's company pays for her medical. You know. So. Go back a couple of topics. What problem on your TV was solved by just pulling the plug and putting it back in? I have no it idea. Sounds like you got off easy. Look, whenever something doesn't work. The first thing you do is pull oh, the sure, plug. Oh, sure, but I'm just saying you got off easy on it, that one. It just, I got off easy, mm -hmm. but it was the first thing I was faced yeah, with when right. I woke up in all the right. morning. I'll give you that. Okay, that was the start of a horrendous day. Yeah. Now, Alex, I got, I got you beaten so many ways here, you can't even imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bray. <laughs> well, I mean, my latest is, I caught two baby civet cats and the uh, the mother keeps coming back to the attic to look for them. So I had to buy tiger pee gel, which I'll be spreading around. And uh, my I CCTV hate when that happens. Not working. Uh, my 
I no, I won't go on, but I have a list of like twenty things that I gotta do. And I'm just I'm Yeah, but like, they're things know, you like, gotta do. They're not things that broke. Everything in my life oh. broke. And by I the way, everything in my life started coming back. I then got a note from the people up at uh, up in uh, up in uh, uh, Canada saying we think we solved your problem, which it turns out today they didn't. And then uh, uh, I I then called uh, GoDaddy this morning. And said you didn't do anything about it, and they took care of that. And then. Uh, uh, my phone mysteriously started working. What it turned out, here's an in interesting thing you should know about this. Does anybody have, like, a, a VPN on their cell phone? On their, I do. Huh? I do. Yeah, and you yeah. do, too. Uh, I have Nord, okay? And I think that's what comes now with, with uh, uh, an iPhone. But anyway, I have Nord. And last night, uh, my phone, you know, right up at the top here, if you look, there's you know, battery, and then there's the Wi-Fi fan kind of thing, and then there's uh, some bars for your your service. Uh, it wasn't getting the Wi-Fi, and it wasn't connecting to the outside, it, you know. Your Nord was blocking it. No, Nord was blocking it, but it was blocking it in a weird way. Apparently, I kept looking at the Nord thing, and it kept saying connecting, 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 connecting. But I didn't think that was the problem. What it turns out is, is that I found out this morning when I turned off the Nord VPN, I got that same effect. But I, everything else was still working after that. But the minute I would put on wife something to go out to the internet, it automatically turned on the VPN and I got the, you know, the fan, as it were, the, the, the radiation sign for uh, Wi-Fi. So if you ever find that you have that problem, immediately go to the VPN, because I think what happened was Nord was out last night. And when it kept going to Nord, looking for it and looking for it and looking for it, it, uh, it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do anything. Yes, Sabri? Uh, full, full, uh, you, you, royal flush, I mean. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, all right, so we could go one on one here but then with mine you also have to add the fact that whenever i call the service people i have to deal with several and usually they're using an accent i can't understand oh well that's that that, that goes oh, yeah. that goes without question that's a given, that's a given. yeah okay that's, so that's... i bought a hitachi fridge and i got a display model and when i bought it i asked the guy anything wrong with this no, but you might need to put some gas in it because it's been on display for two years. I said, I'm like, what is gas? I think he means like the oil running the compressor. So I call Hitachi. They say, oh, that's covered, you know, one year warranty. So I get it in, I plug it in. Everything's working fine, but all the cold air's coming out the front. I never knew if you buy a French door fridge, which you should never buy, mm -hmm. the one that, you know, yeah. opens like this. Yeah. It was missing this thing in the middle called, which has like seven different names, swinging partition, Mullion door, French hinge. Okay, cut to like, the chase on this story. I can't find the part number. And and so I've got a $900 fridge that I can't use uh, because I can't find this one part. Yeah. And nobody knows what the part is called well, or what it does. I'm going to tell you something. There's a new thing that I've come up with, and it seems to be so. And uh, it's what I call um, COVID excuse. <laughs> okay. Every place you call and you go, oh, you accidentally hung up on me, their excuse is, well, you know, we have a COVID thing going on. Mm -hmm. And I'm Same thinking to myself. Waiting on hold for support. Yeah, I've been waiting on yet. hold for the last four hours. Yeah. And it's because, oh, well, you know, we got the COVID thing, so please yeah, bear with us. You know, yeah. I, I'm sorry I didn't it's get back to you fast too. enough. What? You know, my it's on feeling. Their website, too. I was just looking at one, and it's not about, it will be delayed, COVID 19. Yeah, you know, but my, my my point is, hey, you're working from home. Yeah. That's probably a more comfortable situation than you got when you're at work. And you're still answering my call, and you still have the computer there that's linked to the system, okay? So why do I have to wait 10 hours to talk to someone? Oh, well, you know, we have a COVID problem. <laughs> You've heard about the COVID problem. Um, yeah, right, yeah. I, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't but do it. I'm sorry, Bill. 
I was okay. gonna, I was going to say I couldn't do my show last night because COVID. You know, COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest problems with the COVID thing is that the downstream uh, suppliers are uh, uh, are not uh, getting parts. Uh, stuff coming from China is is delayed. There, there's a bunch of things. It's not just the guy sitting behind the computer. It's all the ancillary things that support them uh, that are being affected. And, you know, it, it probably is true. Well, I mean, it, it may be true to a certain extent, but they're using it as the excuse for everything. You know? Feels that way. But, uh, uh, oh, yeah, you know. no. I mean... Um, I have to go get a test because I have to have my eyes worked on. I have to go get a test uh, to, uh, you know, to before they can do the eye thing. COVID? And, uh, no, not a COVID test. Just a some kind of a test. I don't know. It's probably something that just, uh, you know, is covering his ass, you know. But I have to do that. You know, when my, I have an appointment at, at Mount Sinai. The first week in November. <laughs> My eyes are killing me right now, okay? November. Well, you know, the reason it's November is, uh, well, the woman's away on vacation. I said, where the fuck is she going to go? You know, I mean, you know, <laughs> hasn't she heard? You can't, you, you know. I just, the, here's the irony the of best. ironies. I just got my new passport. Do you hey. think I can use it? <laughs> Uh, well, is it uh, Alex, November? I got my guest room all fixed up for you. Huh? Is it November because my of the guest room is, is coming along? It'll be ready in about a week or two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, is it a, a November because of elective surgeries or? No, uh, it isn't an elective surgery. It is just mm -hmm. a test they do. Oh, for I mean, I'm having the elective surgery over to doctor's office, and he can do any elective surgery he wants to. You know, cover his ass and first. by the way, uh, you'd be happy to know he's the brother-in-law of uh, our uh, secretary of, of uh, finance or what? What's his name? Uh, that dopey Mnuchin. guy, huh? Mnuchin. Mnuchin. He's Mnuchin's brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, poor Alex. So no, no, no. I like this guy because he says the whole family hates Mnuchin. So. <laughs> Since this is gripe night about service and that sort of thing, here's my question. Okay. Why is it when I call Amazon and they put me on hold, they play such shitty music? Yeah. Oh, listen. Hey, They've hey, got hey. a fucking catalog of music I'm, from here to <laughs> Kalamazoo. I, would, I, I, I relish Amazon music compared to the music at GoDaddy. For the last <laughs> five or six years that I've used GoDaddy, <laughs> Hold music is the same goddamn song. <laughs> but Amazon has music. I, I yeah, wish but I they probably don't like the world after wait all. I, I, hey, Robert, wait a minute. Hold on a second. You know what you do to fix that? Yeah. You go to their little gizmo thing and then have them call you. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, but they, but they, you but right they, back no, but you're right. They, they, don't, they don't, they don't, <laughs> go, go daddy, I can't get them to call me back. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but Amazon has that thing, just like Apple. Well, does. Amazon has that thing. Put in your number, and it shoots but it this right is, back. Wait a minute, let me do, right let, let me just get. Let me see if I can put the GoDaddy music on here. Let me <laughs> no, see here. No, please don't. Well, yeah. wait, wait a minute. I want <laughs> you to hear what. Head. Okay, I'm putting you on mute. Oh, yeah, okay, wait <laughs> a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That's what it does. Hold on a second. Just like that damn song too, Bill. I'm putting you on mute now. Let me turn on the speaker. Wait times. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Oh, no. Thank you for calling GoDaddy. But I spun your watch. They'll okay, answer real quick now. Yeah. yeah. Your call may be monitored and recorded to ensure quality customer service. Yeah. That's okay. For priority service. Please help us validate your account. It looks like your phone number matches more than one account. If you know your customer number, press one. <laughs> Otherwise, press two. I'll oh, press two. Your customer number is in the top right corner of all emails that you receive from GoDaddy. If you need time to look up your customer number, press 1 now. No. If you do not have access to your customer number, press 2. Could have said that immediately. Looks like you are having trouble accessing your account. <laughs> I'm a GoDaddy virtual assistant here to help you. Would you prefer to use your domain name, email address, or customer number? 
Okay. Play music. <laughs> if you knew the customer number, you wouldn't be going yeah. through this. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, well. I can't. Bear with me just a moment. I didn't hmm. catch that. What, what do you want to use? Your domain name? Email address. Just keep saying or customer zero. Zero. Cu- Customer down. support. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm putting you on mute right now. Really? <laughs> Wait a moment while I connect you to a oh, GoDaddy guide for help. Here we go. Listen carefully as oh. we have changed oh. some of our menu. Yeah, yeah, I love that. If you're going to reset your GoDaddy password. Ten minutes. Password, oh, forget you. it. Forget it. I, uh, but they have this music. <laughs> Believe me. In fact, mm-hmm. online somewhere they actually have the GoDaddy online music. So you, let's see here, GoDaddy <laughs> online oh, music. Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> nice when you call YouTube Apple, they give you a choice. And, and I always no music. When yeah, and I always choose no music. Uh, let's see here. I'm, how to get music? Let's open for phone. banana phone. Add SoundCloud audio. No, how can I add <laughs> audio files? Uh, that, 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 none of it. I, I can't find it. I'll find it and play it some other night. It You just hear it over and over and over again. And you can say to them, I don't want the music. So they don't play the music. But every 30 seconds, a woman comes in and says, Right? Are That's you more a go- annoying. Uh, yes. Are you, yeah. If you want to, you're a GoDaddy customer and you want to start a business, cool. <laughs> you know, they, they try to be really hip. <laughs> cool. Really cool. Oh, that's nice. Oh, nice. You know. Shit. Just bullshit. You know. But hey, you know, they're changing my uh my health here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have my uh, medical uh uh supplement to go in here uh because uh you know, the COVID. Yeah. It's because of the COVID. It's also because we got a president who doesn't take care of people. He has no compassion for the human race. Uh and uh that's uh, not true. He okay. likes one person. Yeah, Donald himself. Trump. Yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he does have compassion for himself. You know. Oh, why is it nobody likes me, but they like Dr. Fauci? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we. You know. Hey, Alex. Yes. Kamala Harris. Yeah. Yeah. I do. What do you think? I, I do her. Yeah. Yeah. I think Biden's gonna do her. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going to stick up the hair. She is. Uh, she, she is. She is uh, beautiful. She is smart. She's accomplished. Uh, I think she. They picked somebody. He picked somebody pretty good. You know. Uh, he. Well, I've been saying her all along. If you if you've yeah. been listening to this program, and I think she's uh, she's the right person for the right job. You know, and uh, yeah. smart and. You know, you can't go after her on law and order, you know. She, right. she was a district attorney, and she got, you know, prosecuted a lot of people in her time. She's going to rip Pence up. Huh? Oh, you she'll rip Pence to shreds. Yeah. Pence is a putz. Yeah. <laughs> but but I, think when, I think when they're talking, though, I think she's, you know, it's the team thing. And she's going to say, we, you know, we are out to turn this over. We are doing this. She yeah. does it like that as a team with her and Biden. They'll yeah. do really good. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. But, uh, you know, I mean. Phil's turn. <clears throat> well, Phil's not talking now. I, know, I, got, I, a, I got about wondering. 100 friends lighter, does too. Anybody, uh, does anybody you know, else have a here, here's the problem. problem. Here, here's the problem, Phil. Uh, Donald Trump, okay, is not responsible for the coronavirus, Okay. Uh, perhaps neither are the Chinese, but uh, he certainly isn't responsible for the COVID crisis, and I'll give him that. He, it happened under his watch, and and uh, it was uh, he's being blamed for a lot of things. What he's being blamed for is his lack of doing anything about it, or even hopping on the on the, on the train and getting this and, thing and, taken and care Alex, of. You know, I heard he, yesterday he's still doing some kind of daily briefing or something because there was shots fired outside the White House, and they're like, "Yeah, President oh, yeah. Trump." delayed his uh, covid briefing i'm like what he's still giving a briefing oh, every, day. No every, day. every day every day every day and he Public just relations. Re- he reads it today he had a bunch of graphs that made no sense at all yeah. you know i mean the man's Public losing relations. his mind who's covering all he's it he's doing is reporting it. the same statistics on his testing the same thing yeah yeah, yeah. They have a great is anybody showing what what would you say uh, tito 
<laughs> is, any, is anybody covering that stupid thing except Fox? Fox so they, covers it. Yeah, Fox covers it, and so does so does OAN. But even yeah. Newsmax doesn't cover them. Yeah, they have a great, great clip. They have a great clip of you know when he had that that uh, interview a couple of days ago, the one where he showed all the papers. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know his charts and graphs. They have Trump, but they went and they clipped Trump against himself in that that same interview. And he kept showing each other. They kept showing each other the graphs, and they're like arguing with each other about the numbers. Is so funny. Wow. <laughs> if you want to laugh, go, go listen. I, I I won't talk too much about it because it goes on forever. But if you want to laugh, listen to Trump answering Sean Hannity's question, which effectively was, "What do you think of Kamala Harris?" And he goes on and on for a solid five minutes with no punctuation damn near and doesn't say the name Harris once. He starts talking about Pulitzer Prizes. It's yeah. just like a ramble that goes on. If you if you have the five minutes, go listen to it. Well, I mean, but that's, that's, that's literally almost every interview he does these days. I mean, yeah. he just goes on a rant. And, you know, I thought the smartest thing he could have done when it came to his comments about Camilla Harris or Kamala Harris is he probably just should have said the following. Well, I think he made a good choice. And leave it at that. Because everybody knew he was going to, like, call her some name and say she was nasty <laughs> and all of that. Surprise everybody. Just say, huh, good choice. Uh, we'll see you in uh, we'll see you in at the at the ballot box in November, and yeah, yeah. and well, that's what Pence said. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, Pence is a little more uh, politically. He's a better politician. He's a better politician. Yeah, but we all knew what he was going to say about Kamala Harris. Don't don't you don't you forget that Mike Pence was supposed to be in charge of the response to COVID nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, where what happened to that? What res <laughs> what response? That's what I want to know. You know, well, as, I say, as, as I say, I'll give it to Trump. I'll, I'll give it to Trump that, you know, hey, the coronavirus happened, and it happened on his watch, and he had to deal with it. But he didn't deal with it. He, he completely was, was absent uh, at the party, you know. And, and governors. And, the governors uh, had to do it. The, the governors had to do it. And uh, he, he just, uh, you know, it was like he couldn't, he just didn't have the ability to muster anything together to try and solve the problem. He and that's why you're president, for crying out loud, to do something, to lead the country in, in direction, to have a, a plan of attack to take care of this. And he failed the country on that. As a result, 165,000 people are now dead. You that know. was their problem. That's why we're the number one country in the world for COVID right now. Is because we didn't do it. Yes, what is yeah. that? Yeah. Days. Three days to slow the spread. 120. <laughs> A lot of. <laughs> uh, that went well. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's just, you know, it's amazing. Um, here in New York, we still continue to have good figures. We have the largest amount of people that have ever been tested in one day at something like 79,000, I think. Mm -hmm. And of it, uh, only a certain amount, of course, had it, but the percentage was, I, I have it here. I think I still have it here. Yeah, here it is, here it is. Um, okay, here it is. Um, the, um, they did 87,776 mm -hmm. diagnostic tests in one day and a rate of only 0.79% of testing positive. That's almost negligible, yeah. you know? I mean, it's amazing. Um, we just don't have, it's not infectious here. Uh, 700 were positive, and we lost seven New Yorkers to the virus yesterday. 558 total hospitalizations. But when you, you know, when you compare this to other countries, I mean, other countries curbed it and got on the better side of this whole thing. 
Well, I mean, we think so. New Zealand is having a reoccurrence yeah. now. Too. Yeah. But they had five cases. Yeah, four or five cases. Well, <clears> it's <throat> more than that. I mean, you can't have four or five cases. That's Howard, not, isn't, actually, they, actually, they had no they cases went. for a whole week. Howard, isn't Hawaii well, the new hot spot? They yes. said that the cases They're are on our list now. Yeah. If you Where's consider that Oahu 200 cases a big deal, yes. Where's that list, Alex? What list? But you said they're on our list now. Should where do you, see, where do you find uh, that they, list? If you go to New York State, and I think they have the list there of the states oh, okay. that are, are there. It's not they're banned from New York, but they're asked to quarantine themselves if they come here. I got an interesting email from my senator today, Mark Warner. Mm -hmm. He said, we are so proud to announce we're the first state to offer an app that will track COVID cases. So I downloaded the app, put mm -hmm. it on my phone, and it, the way it works is it doesn't, it doesn't transmit any personal data and it doesn't use GPS or anything. What it does is it sends Bluetooth notifications. So if I come in contact, if I have my phone with me and I come in contact with anybody else mm -hmm. who is honest, because you have to report whether you've gotten COVID or not, Yeah. Um, it will say to you, you've been exposed. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. Okay. We're the first state that uh, has an app. I downloaded it. That's very it. good. My phone. That's very yeah. good. We don't even have that here. Yeah. You know. Not today. They've been doing that in China for quite some time. My son has it on his phone. It's a requirement there, actually. Actually, I think they did it in South Korea, too. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's illegal in Texas. You cannot have an app like that. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it gets in the way of your AR-15. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. It gets in the way. We did pretty good for a quarter two. So for a company we have, we're trying to hit our target of 7% uh, increase mm -hmm. uh, over the previous quarter. And we were 126% increase of revenue. Wow. So we first year, last year, we made a billion dollar revenue. And now, just from last quarter, it's five hundred twenty-five million dollars. So, five hundred twenty-five million. Yeah, just for last quarter. So I think we're like eight hundred eight hundred thousand already, or eight hundred million already. So we're gonna hit a billion probably next month. And we it took us a whole year to do that last year as the first. Do time you get a bonus? That. That's my question. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Where's that my, bonus? My new job, I got more money and uh, less stress. So that's good enough for me. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Um, but uh, anyway, so we got we got Kamala, Kamala Harris. I think it was a good choice. I, she was the one that I was I think I was touting all along because I felt she came with the best, with the least baggage, you know, and the most creden and the most credentials. Uh, and Susan Rice. But been, Alex, I, do you yeah. like her voice? Uh, mm -hmm. It's a little weird. Yeah, it's yeah. a little weird. But, nasally. Yeah, but you know something? Uh, I, I, the words coming out of that nasally voice uh, um, are really well said and, and stated. And I, uh, I like her. You like her, Robert? I do. Well, I do. She wouldn't have been my first choice. But here's the way I look at it. Um, Biden chose to try diversity, much like when McCain got the nomination, he tried diversity and picked an asshole, you know, so. Well, it's a little that, like is trying to that is diversity because most assholes don't get asked to the party. That's right. You know, so that is diversity. Yeah, I saw a story that Sarah Palin was giving advice to. Yes. Tom yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's comedy. Yeah. What? He's going to tell her, make sure you read. And you know what you're reading. Well, did we have this on the other day, or did I did it just come? Over, did it come over the weekend? And I just it got to me uh, that uh, Trump was in discussions with his people about getting his face on Mount Rushmore. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. That came yeah. out. The White House that. reached out to ask if he could be added to. Yeah, I support that. <laughs> <laughs> I support that. Uh, yeah, it's, but it's a picture of his ass on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be there with other racists. He's been working on this for a while. Well, now yeah. let me let me do something dangerous here. Let me ask Phil what he thinks of Kamala Harris. Uh, one word, phony. I, I think she's uh, 
uh, she'll say anything, do anything. Uh, uh, she's a total phony. I thought that's not what we're opposed to Trump. That who was only a whole, that says was a exactly whole, what needs to be said. Uh, Bree, is that a whataboutism? I, she asked me, uh, Harris. She's a phony. And as a as a prosecutor uh, and as a attorney general, uh, I think she was one of the worst. Uh, so name somebody in the public eye, a politician who's not phony. Okay, so Trump. let me put it this way, uh, uh, Phil. Uh, you're not a you're not a Democrat, but let's ask you this: if if, if neither if, am I, if, if, if he had to pick uh, uh, a person that would keep you happy, who should he have picked? Trump. Uh, no, a person that would Trump. keep me happy. Uh, you nobody. know, nobody, I, nobody. I, 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 if if it was limited to the group of people that he limited himself to, uh, I would say uh, uh, the uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, I think she's a genuine person and 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 a, and a good person. And uh, you know, I, I I don't think she's a phony. Well, then how come if, oh, if you like good people, agree, why, but, uh, why, why, why are you so high on Trump? Because he isn't a good person. I'm not a Tulsi fan. No? I, and, well, yeah, I, I don't think you need I'm a nice Tulsi. person. I don't think you want a nice person in this situation. You want somebody who's not going to take crap from that side. Maybe somebody that just does the job. That That's well, uh, the way uh, uh, Gabbard appeared to me. Uh, you know, I mean... I, I didn't see her as a Democrat or a Republican. Well, she's from Hawaii, her. so Howard yeah. would have a bigger That's insight on that. Howard, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a Tulsi fan, personally. Well, that, Howard. Tulsi is very pro-Putin. Uh, um, you seem to really... Mm -hmm. do, you, is, do you view Putin as a force for positive uh, a, a positivity in the world? Or do you think he's a, you know, a, a, you know, a force for... Evil. Well, say nice stuff because he has the vaccine now. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I think that he should have chose uh, Tito Apt, uh, Aptos. Aptos. <laughs> mm. uh, now, if he didn't have to choose from his current group of people, I don't know if Lieberman is too old, but I kind of like Lieberman. Oh, Maron, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got one Do foot in it and the other on a banana peel. I, I don't know how old he is, but uh, I thought he was a you know a guy that uh, that could be trusted. What is that? Oh, is that the vaccine? That's the yeah, that's the Russian vaccine. That's the Russian vaccine. It's vodka. <laughs> no, it's that called Sp it first. Sputnik. I understand Sp the, v. the Russian vaccine is based on potatoes. <laughs> that was vodka. S uh, Sputnik V, vodka. I think it's called, isn't it? <clears throat> Sputnik Five. Uh, yeah. But I, th I think it's V, not five. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 that's a bottle of Smirnoff, and oh, I see. I couldn't, I couldn't see it that well. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That may just work. Mm hmm. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, uh, Jeff. <laughs> Um, one thing is, I was uh, impressed with uh, Biden, his discussion tonight. He was great. His speech, he, yeah, it was very good. Yeah, I think he's been uh, getting some training on how to speak better. I thought he was terrific. Well, I, I thought he was quite good, but, you know, why? I don't know why. Okay, look, you know, I hate bashing Trump. No, I actually like bashing Trump, but I hate bashing Trump, but... At some point, doesn't he say to himself, I am the worst public speaker <laughs> alive? Yeah. I read in such a way that I could make even Shakespearean prose sound boring. You know, uh, he, he has a total inability to read. He doesn't know how to give a speech. And he's, you know, you would think he would have said to somebody, teach me, give me a few you know, pointers on this, because it doesn't take long to get you up to speed on that, you know? But he just sits there reading like some kid who's been forced to read. Okay, Jimmy, it's time to read in class. Turn page. Turn page. He turns a page a lot because the letters are that big. Um, 
but he I keeps mean, saying the same stuff. Yeah, same stuff. Every everything he keeps going about the same stuff, saying the same thing. He yeah. stopped coronavirus millions. He saved millions of lives. The writer for him, I don't know what they're doing, just cut and paste and move a couple words around. I'll tell you something. You know, this this uh, uh, she um, she's pretty. Uh, uh, when I think about Hillary Clinton, compared to that run for the White House and this run, it's like night and day. This one is doing everything right, okay? And, you know, Joe Biden's an old guy, but he's attractive and he's personable. And he's the kind of guy who, you know, some of those Midwest working men would like, okay? And and Kamala Harris is the kind of woman who a, a lot of other women will like too. I think they're, I think they're lined up to just sweep this thing. But today I heard something that scared me. Trump's given his rambling speech in which he's reading from the page, blah 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 blah, blah and then he ad libs a little bit, and then blah blah blah, and he ad libs again, and then he goes into this whole ramble about how the election is going to be rigged. Of course. You know, it's going to be yeah. rigged. He's already knows, he's already setting up the scenario if he loses. And he's going to say, he's already saying, if I, basically saying, if I lose, it's because the mm -hmm. Democrats stole the election. Mm -hmm. He said 2016. Yeah. yeah. Do you believe that, that, Phil? Do you really believe that? Uh, I didn't hear that. Uh, I didn't hear him say those things. Uh, I do believe that the, de the Democrats have a track record of rigging elections. Uh, the DNC, the super delegates. Uh, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. So, name, name, you know, one, name one. Total bullshit. Uh, I what can, happened I, I in 2016 can... to Bernie Sanders? No, 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 that's not winning. It's not uh, an election. It's not an election. Well, it's well, pretty election. election. It's, it's interference. It's not an election. election. No, that's infighting it's within a party. Wait a minute. That has, you, you said I talked about rigging an election. Right. And that's what they did. No, that they didn't the because there was no election, Phil. Uh, that you're, you're splitting hairs. No, what do you mean uh, splitting oh. hairs? It was on the way to the election. No, it Come wasn't on, on the way to the election. If you don't see that, you've got so many blinders on. You, okay. couldn't, even, you couldn't see your nose. Okay, so the Republican Party rigged this year's prim primary. They didn't let anybody get on any of the ballots to challenge Trump. Nobody and there would have been plenty against? that got on. No, who ran they against allow it? Uh, uh, a couple of guys declared, but they didn't they didn't make any effort. And they could have they could have got it. They're on the ballot. No, they couldn't the, have. They got no, they the names and the no. signatures. All the states wouldn't allow it. They couldn't get on the ballot. They tried. Uh, I think you're making that up. No, 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 no. No, but you know who can get on the ballot? Uh, Kanye West. Why? Because yeah. Trump yeah. wants him on. I, I think Kanye West would have been a good uh, guy for uh, Biden. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that Kanye could take a percentage or two. He could definitely get a percentage or two. If, if well, that's why that's him. why that's why his, his part of his uh, his back, run what, is being paid for by the Republicans. Republicans. He, he doesn't that's need so much. Uh, you know, some of the states that Trump won, he only won by a couple thousand votes. Yeah. So uh, it, that's it right. Doesn't take much. Charlie, uh, it's uh, time for your Trump nightly black voter that. for Kanye West speech. <laughs> Not one black person who was planning on voting for Joe Biden would switch his vote to Kanye West. Not even one. I, no, I, I don't know. I don't know one song that Kanye West ever did, and I have never seen one piece of clothing that he's designed that uh, I. They I would wouldn't be fit you, that Phil. That what? They wouldn't fit you. Oh, uh, that's true. But you know, I remember that there was a. Um, uh, 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 a guy from the Black Panthers that moved to Cuba and he Eldridge was Cleaver. Designing, Yeah, and Eldridge he designed Cleaver. a pair of pants that had zipper in the front and all the way up the back. Mm -hmm. At least Eldridge Cleaver had, you know, something designed. I, what has Kanye West ever designed? I have no idea. But his, he makes a lot of money off of it, whatever he designs. Hoodies. Now, who? Hoodies? Yeah. Hoodies. Uh, well, uh, who, who the, who's the guy that's got the Beats headphones? That's Dr. Dre. Dr. Oh, Dre. Oh, okay. Dr. Dre so yeah. He sold those. But Apple has them now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he sold uh, the company for a billion. They, how, fall, they how fall apart, by the way. Well, I don't care if they do or they don't. I wouldn't buy them. 
Yeah, and nice. Monster Cable, Monster Cable made millions and millions off of that. Really? My friend, my friend's a secondhand man to the guy who started Monster. Mm-hmm. What yeah, did they buy? In the did they buy into Beats? Yeah, because remember they had the cable there. Mm-hmm. They had the cable on there before they had all the wireless. So. Oh. Okay. I don't think that's Dr. Dre. I think it's Fifty Cent. No, I, I think it's Dr. Okay. Dre. It's, no, it's Dr. Beats. Dre Beats is Dr. Dre. Dre. I, I think Alex yeah. is right. No, I know that. Yeah. But I like what Snoop's into. What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> he was smart to invest. What pot? Yeah. Him and Willie. Yeah. Yes. You're right. Yeah. God, Willie's still alive, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I just saw him play oh. December 31st. Oh, wow. How How old is yeah. he now? Eighty something. Yeah, he's like 85. Yeah. He's looks older outside. than that. He really is. He, he looks like a overused Moroccan wallet. Hey, he was on, he was 87. 87? Wow. Yeah. He was on Bill Maher like a month ago. Yeah, who, uh, 87, uh, who, who did I see was, uh, you know, do you know who the oldest person is in Hollywood, the oldest movie actor? It's not Summer Redstone. Yeah, he passed. No. Not Carl Reiner anymore. Uh-uh. It Reiner. was well. It, uh, Olivia De Havilland, who just died at a hundred and four, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, was number two to this person. Really? Norman wow. Lloyd. Wow. He he's well, not Harold Lloyd. No, Norman no, Lloyd. Norman Lloyd. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no, Norman no. Lloyd. Yeah. Did, you, did you ever see Sabotage, where the guy falls from the uh, Statue of Liberty? No. Mm-hmm. In Hitchcock picture. Yeah. That was Norman Lloyd. Well, yeah, and he's 105 years old. And he's very close. He di- he directed, he produced the Alfred Hitchcock TV show and directed a lot of the episodes. And he was uh, worked with Orson Welles. He was part of the Mercury Theater. He's still alive. 100, I think 105, maybe 106. He's still alive. Yep. Yep. And still got all his marbles. I've seen interviews oh. with him. I mean, he's sitting in a chair because I don't know if he can stand up, but he, mm-hmm. he really he's still got all his marbles. Yeah, and but so, he's got SAG after insurance, so he's Yeah, cool. he's got SAG after insurance. <laughs> well, not after the first of the year because once they change this, he might not even be able to afford it. He's cooked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. I, it just says nothing in that thing about whether I still get dental. There's nothing like that in there. We have no Rob idea Dillon. what we get and don't get. Well, then it didn't change. If it doesn't mention dental, then it didn't change. Well, it's who the knows? opposite. If the it opposite. doesn't say you've got it, you don't get it. You don't yeah. have it. Yeah. So, you know, they, they probably mention what the changes are. Have you have you read it? Yes, I looked at it. it makes no sense at all. Huh. I'm gonna have Marjorie call up the union and find out how it changes our. They probably insurance. excluded COVID. No. No. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, and asbestos. you know, enough of th- this kind of stuff with companies doing that. I mean, insurance companies are gonips. And um, SAG after is, isn't an insurance company, but they have to deal with the insurance companies. And these are the changes they're making. I, it's terrible. It's just terrible. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do about dental care. I don't know what I'm going to do about, about all my medicines, you know. Uh, I, and, and uh, you know, how hey much? Alex. Hmm. Yeah. If it's drastic, can you get on Marjorie's insurance and then have it supplemental back? To well, that? they'll no, they'll have to go back, put her back on their full deal with. Uh, mm-hmm. w- That's what I do with my wife. Well, the, the, it'll cost them about twenty thousand a year. Right now, it's costing them about two thousand a year to supplement ours. Right. You know. But uh, she could put you uh, on as a yeah, dependent, right? Yeah, I think she can. Yeah, but. Uh, you know, it's only twenty percent. It's only covering the other twenty percent. Right? Yeah, well, that's why we didn't. Why we thought it was all wrong that they were charging her company like twenty thousand a year, because all they were having to pay was twenty percent. Twenty percent. You know, right? It, 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 but it's not a supplemental plan, and they don't offer one. So yeah. you know, because my Social Security is covering the eighty, and then the other twenty is covered by my wife's insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, everybody that's on uh, uh, Medicare, uh, I understand that this 
uh, Part D that I have, that, which is the supplemental, I would imagine, uh, there's something else that you can get that's better, but I don't. Nobody will tell me what it is. Uh, what is that? Well, well, there's no, there's no, no another part to put on Medicare, but you can. There are supplemental insurance. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Anything to take care of the gap. Well, you don't have, you don't have the gap if you go get a supplemental insurance policy. But I have the gap, uh, and I have the supplemental. Well, I'm saying through, no, no, but you, you have the supplemental through. Kaiser. Oh, through Kaiser. Then, how, then the supplemental must be to, uh, uh, boy, it, it must be to Medicare Part D. You yeah. can, you can and, get a supplemental. That's, drug. That's, the, that's the prescription plan. Yeah, yeah but I, I reached a certain point, and now I'm paying 30% of retail or something. Uh, and uh, I'll continue to do that until the end of the year. Yeah, I don't have that because my state... Your health insurance covers that. It covers my drug. Oh. So I pay nothing. I have what they have in Europe. I go to the doctor, I don't get a bill. I go oh. to the hospital, I don't get a bill. Me too. Care for Obamacare. Well, I want what you guys have. Yeah. Obamacare. That's because of Medicare. That's because of working 27 years for the state of Texas at, at, at about 70% of what I could have made in the private sector. Right. Yeah. But so that's where I'm getting my money back. Yeah. I don't even see an EOB. Well, I, I still, I a, still get bills. Money. You know, I still get bills, but I've had four surgeries since I got on Medicare. Not a penny. Not a penny. Really? Awesome. Really? Well, it Can should anybody, be. Medicare anybody, for all. Does anybody miss sitting down at a restaurant? I went out to oh, dinner yeah. last night. I'm going out tonight. Yeah, they they had you sitting in a open air yeah. area that had umbrellas over it. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, it was that was okay, but uh, you know I oh. I'm tired of takeout and eating in my car. But that's not takeout. Here. Come to Maui. I'm going out for sushi tonight. Yeah, you yeah. gotta don't you have to hide? Um, yeah, but now your COVID's going up. Days. So yeah. we had two two Farm cases thing? on Maui. What? 150,000 people. You do the math. Yeah, but don't, don't visitors have to quarantine for two weeks? Yeah, well, they're not letting visitors in, or you got to quarantine. So where was the yeah. COVID coming from? Um, probably Oahu, because, see, they had the 200, and then yesterday, 120. So all it would take is one of them to come. To, that's why they shut down inter-island flights. So here's interesting. I'm allowed, because I'm on Maui, I'm allowed to go to Kauai, Molokai, Lanai, Big Island, but if I go to Oahu, then I got to quarantine for 14 days. But if I go to any of those other islands, I can come back same night or whatever, no problem. So you're on what island? That's the dirty island. Maui. You're on Maui. Okay. You're not What's on the Maui. island that has all the munitions on it that they don't let anybody go on? Oh, Kaholawe. I guess I can go visit that yeah. one, too. There's nothing but bombs there. Kaholawe, <laughs> yeah. See if you come back. I never heard of Kaholawe. Yeah, they used to have good diving there. Yeah. yeah, they used it as a dumping ground to just dump and use it and bomb the hell out of it to the point where nobody can live there anymore. And By the way, uh, munitions. Bree is having lunch. It's that time. Right yeah. yeah. Why not? It's lunchtime. Oh, it's lunchtime in... Uh, what time is it there right now? Is it... Uh, it's 12-hour difference between here in New York? Just, and yeah, you just reversed the time. Yeah. Yeah. Howdy duty time. So you're in the same uh, you're good. in the same in the same time zone as China. Yeah. Although China, this is interesting about China. The entire country is the same time zone. That's right. Uh, yeah. they, they rather than uh, uh, chop it up into like five different time zones or whatever, right. uh, like the United Do they States. They have daylight they saving keep, time. I have no idea. Yes, they. No, I don't know. I don't think they do. We don't have it. All I know is right those, now. Those 3 a.m. sunrises must be fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. No, we're near the equator. You're near the equator? I know, but you, China should have about five time zones. So. <laughs> if it, yeah, but but it doesn't because they don't want to confuse things. So they. That's what I'm saying. Some yeah. place is going to be getting sunrises at like 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what? It's eleven forty-eight tomorrow, uh, Friday. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's already right. It's yeah, right. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I'm 11, thinking you, you see, you're saying it's the same time, but that's East Coast. You can get up to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so yesterday I got very frustrated about everything. And, uh, you know, I, I started to say, why, why, am, uh, why am I letting electronics just screw up my life? So I'm thinking of stopping using all electronics, except very <laughs> essential ones. You know, like what? Do you, what do you mean by vibrator? Well, I maybe, maybe <laughs> I could start with with using my phone as a phone, okay? Uh, and not you worry. You want to be Larry Bubbles? And not worry about whether it does any of the other functions, the eighty-seven the, other functions. What was the? Do you think Larry that, Bubbles Brown is going to outlive you? I think Larry Bubbles Brown has the right idea. What, what was yeah. the character on Better Call Saul that played the brother that uh, didn't want any electronics or electricity in his home? Yeah, yeah it was his brother. Or whatever his name was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's, no, but he—he he was afraid. He was afraid of the electrical waves. The field. Yeah, yeah field. the field. Magnetic yeah. Fields yeah. I'm stuff, not afraid yeah. of that. I just, I just, I said to myself yesterday, I'm, I, I've just spent the whole day having a problem with this damn phone not being able to get it to work and i'm calling i'm calling uh, not apple but i called at&t they couldn't get it to work you know and i'm going crazy about it, it turned out to be very simple but and i figured it out uh but uh i i last night as i'm going to bed i just went i see no reason why i should do anything with this but make a phone call you know I mean, why? Why do I do anything else? You know, and I do this show every night, and I go, why do I do it? You know, for us. Yeah, I do it for you. I really do at this point. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. You know, uh, because uh, and because I like you guys. Well, most of you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hey, Alex. Feelings yeah. almost mutual. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> have you heard Lucas Nelson, Willie's son? No. He sounds just like him. Oh, really? It's scary. Really? Okay, hold on. Oh, no, don't, don't play any music. Don't play no, any music. He, 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 no, he, don't play he, any he, music, Howard. Can't do that. Right. Can't do I'm that. I'm on you. Otherwise, he, other, trouble. otherwise uh, I, get, uh, I get a <coughs> notification from YouTube saying oh, you can't yeah, monetize yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get you spanked. I wonder if I... And you need the money. Yeah. They have an electronic dude do jiggy that listens and if you play a song it knows what song you're playing and i've tried to i've tried to figure out i've looked online to see if there's a way you can work your way around that like some kind of running some kind of low pitch sound they say if you play the music at 10 percent faster than it is they can't identify it rob <laughs> might know how do you beat shazam how do you beat it yeah, how do you game the Shazam? I don't know that you can. How do you beat? How do you beat though the uh, algorithms that, that like YouTube uses to decide if you're playing copywritten music? I, I was told I that if you that play you it, I, I was told if you play it at least at a faster speed, but you can lower the pitch so it doesn't sound faster. Okay, uh, that they, they can't identify it. That's what I heard. I haven't but, tried it yet. But Tony Bennett sounds like Alvin the Chipmunk. No, no, no. If you if you lower the if you speed him up ten percent, but you lower the pitch ten percent, oh. mm, he's yeah. it's just he's just singing faster. That's all. You know. So I don't I don't know I, I don't know how you do that. It's got a way to, to do it. Yeah, Tyson's Acosta says Norman Lloyd is still alive. I just said that Tyson's <clears throat> said I Alex. believe he's one hundred and five. What? What do you think of Geraldo Rivera? You mean, <laughs> you mean Jerry Rivers? Yeah, Jerry Rivers. Uh, Geraldo, Geraldo, he and I, we had a we had a we had a thing for years, going on, uh, yeah. in which he would go on. Uh, he went on CNN on uh, Larry King, I think, and did five minutes on me. And yeah. how I had started this rumor that his name was really Jerry Rivers and not Geraldo <laughs> Rivera, and blah 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 blah. And it wasn't a rumor; it was true. Yeah. When he was trying to get a job working in radio and television stations, to deny his ethnicity, 
which is questionable in and of itself, uh, he used the name Jerry Rivers. There are, are literally videos of him saying Jerry Rivers reporting, and he denied that that was ever true. But all of a sudden, Channel 7 here in New York was deciding they wanted to hire a more ethnically diverse news team, and so he walked in the door and said, my name, Geraldo Rivera, you know, and the rest is history, and they hired him. Yeah, uh, now he's a Trump sycophant. He, he's very disappointing. Yeah. He doesn't get along with Dan Bongino. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, he, was, he married uh, Kurt Vonnegut's daughter at really? one point. Yeah, mm -hmm. married to Kurt Vonnegut's daughter. And I used to, you know, make fun of him on, on cable, you know, doing bits about Geraldo Rivera and his wife, Kurt Vonnegut's daughter. And um, I'm driving down the street one night in my car, and I look over in the other car, and there's Geraldo Rivera. With a woman yeah. that's not his wife. Oh, oh, oh. And I yell out the window, Hi, Geraldo! How are you? <laughs> and he's kind of going, uh, Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Geraldo's a piece of work, but in later years, he, 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 we, he came on the show and we made up, or he thought we made up. Uh, I just never liked the guy. You know, I always considered him a phony, Phil! Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, uh, you know, in bed with Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. No, that would be Willie Brown. You know. Yeah. Uh, Willie, did you see Willie came out and said she shouldn't take the vice presidential nod, that she'd make a better attorney general? Which oh, yeah. I kind of agree that that's a better job because you're able to actually uh, act, do stuff, you know. Whereas vice yeah. president, you're kind of, you know, yeah, but you're think, cutting ribbons. I think the vice president's main job is to get the president elected. You know. Yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, she would make it work. If she become if if she becomes vice president, she will be doing the president's job. What well, makes you say that? If he dies, she'll be the uh, president. He looks pretty healthy. You know. Yeah. You know who doesn't look? He healthy? looks more healthy than Trump does. Trump, Trump does looks not like he's, look healthy. Trump no, he is, doesn't. He lumbers Trump needs in. to eat another burger. Huh? Trump needs to eat another burger. Yeah. <laughs> or some more KFC. Yeah, he should play more, more, more golf. More golf. He needs more golf. Trump is going crazy. I don't care what you say. He's getting crazier and crazier. Oh, yeah. No, I was saying that tonight really to Marjorie. Nice. I said he's getting nuttier and nuttier. We thought yeah. he was crazy once before, but he's gotten yeah. nuttier and nuttier. So. Oh, yeah. You know. Um, uh, and uh, Whatever. But anyway, so I, uh, I like the exchange he had with Ted Lieu, mm -hmm. the congressman from California or former congressman. Yeah. Um, Trump at some point tweeted that if Biden wins, we'll all have to learn to speak Chinese. And Ted Lieu responded, Mr. President, I already speak Chinese and I served uh, in the United States military, which you were afraid to do. I defended your right to say stupid shit. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Did he say his that? Granddaughter with Ivanka. And there, for uh, for the end of the show, we have to have our cameo appearance by Adrian. Hey, Hi, Adrian. Yeah. How are you, sweetheart? You okay? Uh, will you marry me? Yeah. Will you marry me? <laughs> hey, say hello. Say hi. Yeah, yeah. My future wife, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Anyway, hey. There's, there's the theme. Oh, that's, uh, that, that's good. Well, tomorrow night's Phil Free Night, right? Oh, That's right. Well, it's yeah. Phil Free Thursday. Let's see how many people we can get here. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I hope get huh? Phil, can you get a replacement? A, a Trump, uh, a QAnon replacement for us? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no yeah. You, you're going to have to handle that yourself. But. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Phil. And thank you very much, Charlie. And oh, thank you very much, Adrian, and whoever that stranger is next to you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Robert, thank you. I know he's your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert and Jeff and uh, uh, um, um, John Larkin and Howard. Oh, yeah. Malachi. What, what do you say? I, uh, 
Mahalo. 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 Mahalo for not smoking. Mahalo. That was my favorite sign of all time. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much, Kevin. Mm. Thank you to Rob. Good having you here tonight. <laughs> and a big good night. Uh, yeah, yeah. A big good night to, uh, to Bree. Oh, she's going crazy. Hey, everybody, wave goodbye. Wave goodbye, and we'll, uh, we'll wave by goodbye at you, and hopefully I'll be back again tomorrow night unless I get exhausted again trying to make stuff work, okay? Uh, um, uh, Jack Bishop is next on time tonight, uh, and uh, he will be following over most of the same gab net. I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always... You know what? If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. And by the way, you know what you want to do? Yeah, you want to stay safe and wear a mask.